Oh, hey there. So I've had a lot of people ask me. Angel, why do you make your videos? Well, it's because I want to be YouTube famous, duh. No, not really. I mean, if it happens, then cool. That's a plus. It's not really a reason, but happens cool subscribe and like but to know why we have to go back to the origin story yeah, as a kid i always enjoyed history especially early history of western settlers pioneers lewis and clark and sacagawea type of people who simply had the curiosity to explore new places i remember i used to go a lot to my dad's baseball games and when i wasn't watching the game i would wander around the park and quite often i would stumble onto a little hidden trail that led to a nice boardwalk by a lake or a small little creek and i loved going into these cool little areas that no one seemed to know about it didn't matter if i was just at a simple base baseball park. Somehow I would seek and find my adventures no matter where I was at or who I was with and I carried that passion for adventure as I grew up. Thus the epic venture seeker was born. Except now I find the opportunities to wander around much more epic places than a regular baseball park. Of course I travel and explore because it brings me joy, peace, I love to see gorgeous landscapes, eat delicious food, learn of different people's cultures and ways of life, and I'm a firm believer that unforgettable experiences are more valuable than any material possessions we can have. But why do I make these videos? Why do I share all of my experiences with you? Well I have many reasons as to why, and my first reason would be because I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, and I believe we have an incredible God who created this amazing world, so of course I love to share his magic masterpiece of creation through my videos and pictures. To be honest, I feel the most spiritual connection with God when I'm out in nature. Another reason is many times I've heard that people can't afford to travel or they don't really have time to, but that by seeing my pictures and videos, they feel like they were actually there traveling with me, which is such a cool thing to hear that people can enjoy these awesome places through the experiences that I share. But to tell you the most important and main reason why I do what I do, I have to read you a message that someone sent me several months back that completely caught me off guard. Hey, how are you? I just wanted to share with you a little story. A few years ago, I started going to the chiropractor where you worked at, and I remember that one day you were super excited to share some really cool pictures of a trip you had just gotten back from. I think it was somewhere in the mountains. Of course it was in the mountains, of course. That sounds like me. You also were telling me about some local trails, and of course you were sharing some pictures of that too. LOL. I'm not sure if you remember, but what I'm trying to say is thank you. At that point of my life, I needed that, and it got me thinking about my life and how I didn't want to waste time just sitting at home watching TV or just not doing anything. Ever since then, my goal has been to be happier, enjoy nature, and to travel the world. And let me tell you, I've been doing it, and I love it. So once again, thank you. I just felt like I was ready to share that with you. And just continue doing your thing because it's truly possible to inspire someone that might need it like me at the time. I truly hope that one day I'm able to inspire somebody as well to live their life to the maximum. I read it again and it's like wow. Like First of all, to the person that wrote me this, thank you so much. You have no idea how you completely altered my thinking and encouraged me in such an epic way. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I was honestly speechless when I first read this. It took me a while to actually reply because I just literally had no words. Because the thing about this encounter in the chiropractor that I used to work for, this happened at least six years ago. Six years ago! And this person just wrote me recently, back in 2020. It goes to show that the ripples of change that you create in life can follow you around forever. Just like I had no idea about the impact that I had on this person. You never know the impact you can have on people with just the way you treat them or the way you live your own life. Because you see, I'm no one special. Uh, besides being a little wild and crazy, I'm an ordinary guy. But if I can create this type of inspiration in someone's life, then you can easily do the same too. But Angel, I can't travel the world like you can. You don't need to travel the world or have a YouTube channel or any of that stuff. You can easily inspire and create a similar impact by simply living a life, the right mindset, positive attitude, and authentic character, and enough humility and compassion to share that with someone who could be inspired to find their version of living that way as well. Remember, adventure can be found everywhere and in anything with the right mindset. You can have an adventure going to the park with your family. You can be epic by being a loving spouse and parent. You can be brave by choosing to learn something new, whether it's playing an instrument or deciding to go back to school to have a new career. You can create change and inspire others by doing the right thing and simply being kind to one single person. So no, I don't do what I do because I want to be YouTube famous or an influencer. Blah, I 
hate that word. I just want to be an ordinary person who can show it's possible to live an extraordinary life by simply choosing to do so. So be bold, be epic. Go find your adventure and inspire others to find theirs as well. Regardless of your circumstances, the choice is ultimately yours on how you want to live this one single life that God has blessed you with. And it's never too late to start. Your epic venture can literally begin with the very next choice you make today. And the change and impact you create with that choice can become something infinite. So this is why I do what I do.